Hey, this is Shannon from SeriouslyGoodCooking.com, and we are on, I think, segment four of Ropa Vieja on Super Bowl Sunday. So I left out an ingredient last time. Um, after I put all of the vegetables into the fake Dutch oven that I'm using, what I forgot to tell you about were the tomatoes. Now, Ropa Vieja is a very tomato-based stew. So I seeded some tomatoes and cut them up and diced them and I put them into the pan and then I also used half a can of tomato paste and I put that in as well. Mixed everything together and then I went in, I dumped the entire pan of liquid that I had been simmering over here into the pot. This smells, tastes, just looks amazing. Let me see if I can show you here. Oh, it's so good. Mmm. Look at that. Mmm. And what stands out the most, actually, is kind of the smell of the olives, the smell of the sofrito, the onions, and the peppers. That's probably what really stands out the most. It, it just, it's divine. So, now that we've got this all together, I'm thinking that I might actually need to add a little more water because my sauce is pretty thick. Um, but I could actually do that while I'm cooking this as well. So next step, we take our roast and we add it straight into the pot. Get it in there. I'm also going to pour in all of the drippings that have come off while my meat has been resting because that's nothing but flavor. All right. Oh, oh little one to grow on. Okay. Let's mix this together a little bit. I need to take a picture. In addition to the video, I always like to try to take pictures of every step for you guys to see on SeriouslyGoodCooking.com. Let's try that with the flash. Oh, it looks so pretty. I can't wait for you to see it. So, the only thing that I have to do now is to put it in the oven. I'm going to cover it up. My oven is on 325, and I already took one of the, the top um, rack out so that it just has one rack on the second to lowest rung. And I'm going to put it in. Okay. I expect that this is going to have to cook for probably three, four hours. Um, it was actually thinner than I expected it to be. So that probably means that my family and I aren't eating until 8 or 9, but that's okay because it's Super Bowl Sunday and we'll be watching the ads and having chips and dip anyway. If you haven't tried this, regular Doritos with French onion dip, the best. All right. I'm going to set my timer here for an hour and then I'm going to come check on it. Only because, like I said, my sauce was a little bit thick and I might want to add a little bit of water. I'll see how it's progressing. Okay? So that's basically it. We're going to wait about three hours, and then hopefully the meat is going to be tender enough to shred. We'll take it out of the oven, and we'll shred it, and then we're going to mix it all together. After that, we'll fry up some corn tortillas. Oh, look, the camera likes my beer. I understand. Nice. So after that, we'll fry up some corn tortillas, and then we're going to serve the meat on the corn tortillas, and we're going to cut up some avocado, maybe a little bit of cheese, and then we'll be ready to go. So I have no idea why my camera loved the beer, but I understand. Here I am. <laughs> All right. So that's seriously good cooking. We'll be back, like I said, three, four hours. Have fun.